Our next step is to fan fold our drapery panels before we hang them on the pole. This is an easier job if you can have two people, one at the head of the drapery panel and one at the hem to help do the fan folding. To start our fan folding, first we're going to need to find where the center of this first pleat is. And I know my pleat is about six inches. So if I divide that by two, three inches should be about where the center of the pleat is. I want to add that to my return size. On this panel, this first pleat is next to the return, which is four inches. When we do the other panel, you'll have the overlap here, and that's going to be three inches. So it'll be a little bit different figure for the other panel. So with our three inches plus our four, our seven inches, I'm going to measure at the bottom of the panel from the side hem to where seven inches is. My helper is going to hold the pleat at the top of the panel and we're going to kind of pop that pleat up. Then we're going to fold the return under and lay the pleat down flat. Next, we're going to find the middle of the next pleat, and I know it's between these two pins that I marked for my spaces. So I'm going to pop that up. We're going to bring that over, making sure that everything is kind of laying nice and flat inside the panel. Then we go to our third pleat. We're going to pop it up, fold it over, and then the next pleat. Fold it over, making sure everything is nice and smooth. Pop that pleat up. And then our final pleat. Okay. Now you can see, and I'm going to fix this just a little bit, but you can see where all of our pins are, where we marked those spaces. So that's one reason I do that. It makes it a lot easier to do my fan folding, and, and I make sure that those spaces, the back of the spaces, are all to the back when we fan fold. Our next step is to take the drapery panel to our drapery pole and hang it up. So I've got my drapery panel pinned, hooked into the rings, and then I'm going to hook this last one. Here's our drapery pin. It's going to go right into the eyelet of the ring. And then this last drapery pin is on our return, and we're going to hook it onto the screw eye that I've screwed into the wall. So that will help keep our return nice and neat back to the wall. Now that we have our drapery panel hung up, we're going to dress the panel so that it's laying nicely. The first thing we're going to do is we want to make sure each of these spaces are pushed back. You can see how this one is forward. We're going to make sure they all go towards the back and that all the pleats are in the front. Our next step is we need to remove all of the pins that we put in the drapery panel while we were tabling it. They have helped us keep all the layers together. And now that we've got the panel hung up, we can take those out. So I've got a couple of pins in the seam that I'm going to take out. And then I've also got a pin at the back of each of my spaces that I'm going to remove. You don't want to leave the pins in, especially if you have little ones. I would hate for them to get hurt by the pins. Okay, so that's all of our pins. And our panels are hanging pretty nicely. If you um, feel like your panels are not hanging very nicely yet, you can take some strips of fabric, either selvages or just regular strips of fabric, and you can just loosely tie the fabric around the panel 
to kind of hold the, the folds in place. And then I would put another one up here. If you had a long panel, panel that went to the floor, you might actually put another piece of fabric down at the bottom too by the floor. I would leave the strips of fabric on for about 24 hours to let the panel kind of train and to keep the folds in nicely. Now we've come to the end of our fabricating drapery panels tutorial. I hope you've enjoyed it and good luck with your drapery projects.